Here we have uh, another video. Uh, on this occasion, we are concentrating on the C96 Mauser broom handle pistol. Uh, in front of us, uh, you will see a, a display case, which is a circa 1920 model, designed uh, and uh, retailed by Wesley Richardson Co. Uh, of Birmingham, England, uh, circa 1920. Uh, in the case, you can see the pistol uh, and the shoulder stock together with some ammunition boxes. Um, this particular one is a 25 round ammunition box. Uh, we believe it to be French. It's not an original, but a copy, um, but extremely uh, interesting to have uh, and useful if you wish to display it in your, in, in, in your, um, in your Mauser broom handle case. Uh, another one of these boxes, ammunition boxes, uh, is also the uh, the Kinnock box. Uh, this particular one uh, came from uh, uh, from South Africa, as you can see. It's got Rand one one point nine six. Uh, this again is probably nineteen ten, nineteen twenty. Uh, it would be Boer War era. Um, uh, in the case, you can see the C96 Mauser broom handle stock. This is an original which comes with the pistol and it's also numbered to it. Uh, it's a very fine example. I would imagine at some period uh, in its life that it's actually had a slight repair here uh, and it's had a brass, uh, a brass casing around it. But it looks particularly interesting and it is of historical interest. Um, I would imagine that this particular uh, set was also used uh, during the Boer War. Uh, here we have uh, um, a 19, 1915, 1916, perhaps a little bit earlier than that, C9, small ring C96 Mauser broom handle pistol. Uh, very fine condition with original rust bluing, uh, with, with the lanyard, um, and uh, I would think of a very highly collectible item for those who are interested in Mauser broom handle pistols. Just slightly above the pistol, you can see the strip of clips uh, and the ammunition which has been loaded onto it. Um, these is, this is an essential item to have because it's almost impossible to load your pistol without the strip of clip itself. Um, we have these strip of clips, brass ones and also nickel uh, clips as well. And then slightly just to the left of the, uh, um, of the uh, of the strip clips we have uh, the oil bottle this is a, a, a very interesting nice little oil bottle which can be used either as a grease pot or you can also put your little spare parts into it rather like extractors or and spare springs um, so it fits and is very appropriate with the case and with the period of the case now to the left of the uh, of, of the of the little cleaning bottle uh, we have what's called a put stock. Uh, this is the earliest form of uh, of cleaning rod that Mauser produced, um, and the actual manufacturer, or well, the quantity, is actually unknown. But it's estimated there were probably only about two thousand of these uh, cleaning rods ever made, uh, which makes them highly desirable and very very collectible indeed. Uh, this particular one is not an original, it is a copy, but an extremely good copy, um, and uh, if you didn't have a keen eye, this would quite easily pass as an original. But very unique and uh, very appropriate um, um, with this particular star case. Now, if we just pan just slightly to the left of the case, we have uh, a reproduction uh, C96 World War I leather, leather harness. Uh, with the cleaning rod uh, and also with a reproduction shoulder stock. Uh, this is a particularly nice and extremely good quality holster uh, and absolutely identical in every shape, way or form down to the last stitch. Um, it's made from a russet leather uh, and it will darken with age, but if you'd like your, uh, uh, your leather holster to be slightly darker, this can be quite easily darkened down with using an appropriate leather oil or even a polish. Uh, and I have seen these particular holsters uh, aged uh, and they look very, very like the originals. Um, extremely interesting indeed. The little pouch on the front, um, subject to what most people think, uh, is actually not for the stripper clip or the loaded stripper clips, but it is in fact for the magazine spring, which fits in here. Um, uh, if I can just get the top off here, sometimes here the tab, uh, we'll take the, uh, the stock out. 
this is a particularly nice example of a walnut stock uh, a C96 uh, small ring hammer we do also have some cone hammer stocks as well um, this has been oiled uh, and we do have a varnished version, uh, version as well uh, if you note the rust blued uh, hinge plate uh, with the with, with, with the lanyard bridge uh, and the stock iron and attaching iron as some people would call it uh, all rust blued if we just take a little look inside um, we can see that uh, it has the retaining spring which uh, prevents the pistol from actually moving around in the stock um, and uh, if you look inside the, the the screws and the nuts are the appropriate uh, round headed threaded screws that you would find on all the original early original stocks and even the later models as well um, so this particular shoulder stock and others that we have are identical to the originals. Uh, unlike some of the other copies that I've seen, uh, which do not resemble the originals at all and are extremely poor quality, in my opinion. Uh, and I think that you would be uh, very, very surprised to find uh, the, the the quality of these is, is, is paramount importance, especially if you are a avid uh, and serious collector of the C96 Mauser broom handle pistol.